Okay, folks, now we've got a great question this week, and it comes from Jackie. She doesn't say where she's from. But Jackie asked the question, I'm, by the way, I'm still in the Industrial Revolution, I haven't shaved yet. Um, where is the best place to sell my artwork? Jackie, that is a fantastic question. It's one that I get asked every single week by people literally from here to Kentucky to Sydney, you know, here, there and everywhere. Jackie, and to anybody watching this that's asking that same question, the best place to sell your artwork is the best place that reflects your artwork. So for example, if you have studied at the Glasgow Modern School of Art or the Edinburgh School of Art or you, you know, you, you've had a lot of money in your art tutorials, you've gone to a private school, you're more high polloi and um, more well spoken and well versed, you know, you dress in a suit all the time and you know, you, you don't slurp your soup for example. I know I'm making fun. I'm gonna make fun and have some fun basically with anyone because it's, that's what we do as artists. We have a lot of fun. If you have gone, but on a serious note, if you have gone to the schools and you know you have studied and learned so much, you're going to be looking for more galleries like the Kelvin Grove in uh, uh, Glasgow. You're going to be looking at the McLaurin Art Gallery in Air. Now I'm speaking about ones in Scotland. You may be looking for ones in London again as your fame increases. If you are just starting out and maybe you're a self-taught artist, the best places to advertise your work is online. Online you have access to an insane amount of people. In a couple of weeks we've got a topic down here that says why is social media so important and I'm going to tell you that. Okay, We may even throw that in next week because I want that to be follow up to this one. So important to learn social media and to understand it and folks I'm going to try and teach you stuff that you may not have even thought of. Okay, And it's really simple stuff, I promise. But anyway, back to the question. So. Online is a great way to sell your artwork. Now, the question you've got to ask yourself is what kind of artwork do you produce? Are you producing landscapes, seascapes, portraits, pets, wrestlers, fan art, uh, fire in the mountain paintings? Are you producing landmark paintings? Are you producing portraits, pets? Are you producing you know, all the range of other things? Are you producing abstracts? Are you producing optical illusion? You then need to take your art sit down and look at it and say right where would this fit best for me for example with art through the ages i know i could take the history of scotland and the art periods that i've done there and i could go to pretty much any exhibition and any gallery in scotland and see we've got you know a history of scotland exhibition that we're interested in doing would you be interested in hosting it more than likely they're going to say yes Okay, they'll want to see a submission of your work, of course they will, but more than likely they're going to say yes, I would love to see that. Why? Because it's in Scotland. If I tried to do this in England and say, well I've got a history of Scotland, I want to come down to England and, and share it down at, you know, at, at Birmingham, you know, they turn around and probably say no. But if I said, guys, what about the history of England? I've got a history of England exhibition that I'm touring around with and I would love to make a stop here. Absolutely. We love the idea. Let's go with it, John. Wonderful. Know your markets. Equally, as Scotland wouldn't work in England, England probably wouldn't work in Scotland. Scotland may work in America. England probably definitely wouldn't work in America. I'm English, so I can say that. So you need to really think about where your audiences are. If you are selling pet portraits, for example, ideal markets to approach would be things like Crufts, pet magazines, uh, artist magazines, all that kind of thing. If you're selling portraits, it would be, you know, the portrait galleries. The internet now has grown so big that it is almost impossible to not find at least one place that will be willing to take your artwork. And if they are, keep building your style, keep approaching them, keep saying, look, I've got this exhibition, I really want to do this. Please, please, please give me time to do this, you know, and, and then go ahead and do it. So I hope that answers your question, Jackie. Um, you know, again, really think about the, the type of art that you produce and then ideally look for the best places to sell it. If it's something like mine, I'm now at the stage where I'm looking for more galleries um, and art fairs. When you are starting out, you're looking for coffee shops, you're looking for sometimes anywhere that's going to have people that may be your ideal audience. And that's a really important thing to have in mind is who is your ideal audience? We're going to tackle that one as well. But we're out of time, folks. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this. As always, please do feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Any questions and comments you've got, please stick them in the chat box below. And until next time, I have been your host, John Morris. And until next time, I'll catch you soon.